Imagine soldiers fighting on a beautiful island. They have big battles and lots of deep thoughts. Some soldiers act like heroes, and others are just scared. But guess what? There's a funny part where one soldier says, why do mosquitoes always attack me? Even in war I can't get a break. It's a mix of serious and silly moments. Want to know if they win or if the mosquitoes take over? Watch the full recap to discover this story's exciting and spooky parts. Welcome to Popcorn Movie Recaps. Today I will show you a 1998 action and war movie. Watch out for spoilers and take care. During World War II, Wit happens to be a soldier who was so unfortunate to witness when and how his mom died on her dying bed. He told some other soldiers while they were in a village at Guadalcanal. Wit regularly watched the children play, swim at the beach, and talk with some town residents. He was so friendly with them that he spoke to some of them, worked with some men, and played with the children. On one fateful day, while everyone was busy with their daily activities, Wit's friend saw a ship that belonged to the US Army and went to tell Wit. In the next scene, we see that Sergeant Welsh had taken Wit and his friend on the ship and questioned Wit, probably because he failed to do what was assigned or did not do it well. Wit was not happy about this but kept his cool. On the top of the ship was Colonel Tall and Brigadier General Quintard. Colonel Tall was not pleased that he had to degrade himself to serve under Brigadier General Quintard, which was not supposed to happen, but he could not help but follow orders of someone who was not supposed to be his superior. The next day, the soldiers were doing their morning routine to prepare for the day. Some were discussing their family, what they did before joining the army, and other things, while others were preparing themselves for what was ahead. As this was on, they heard the alarm, which called them out as the war was already in motion. They descended the ship and used speedboats to their destination, the forest. They matched many troops into the forest and passed through many different areas like the swampy and the like looking for what only God knows. Along their journey into the land of the unknown, they come across a soldier whose limb someone has cut off, but it looks like he was able to kill the person who did it to him before he ultimately passed away. This gruesome discovery didn't stop them as they proceeded to where other soldiers camped. They saw more injured soldiers. Wit was also here but was fine. It was getting late as we saw Captain John and his men plan strategies on how to take down their enemies. Sometimes, he prayed for help to lead his team on the right path at night and not betray them. The next day, after Colonel Tall conversed over the radio, it rained bombs, which seemed to clear the way for Captain John and his men because they set out after the bombs finished exploding. They went low in the bushes so they wouldn't get noticed, which worked for a while, but as soon as they went further, two soldiers got shot by snipers. This got them scared, but the captain sent more men into the field, causing their enemies to release bombs which consumed most of the soldiers. The fight subsidized a bit, which made Wit come to where Captain John was. But as they were getting close to their enemies, fire and bombs were opened on them, which also took more lives. Sergeant Keck was about to take out his gun when he accidentally pulled out the ring, stopping the bomb that was on his clothes from exploding. The bomb blew off, which took his life alongside. Moving on in our story, the soldiers kept on fighting even though they were not winning. Although they were getting close to the Japanese, who happened to be their enemy, they were not able to take them out because their weapons were more sophisticated than those of the Americans. This made Colonel Tall give the strict order to send all his men into the fight, which the Captain Staros refused his order because it was too risky. Colonel Tall was so mad at the Captain because of this, but Captain Staros was bent on not obeying that command. He also lost a young boy after making the call. After Colonel Tall arrived at the location where Captain gave new orders to be accomplished by nightfall, he relieved Staros of his command, expressing his disappointment and frustration. Meanwhile, on the other side, where other troops were they were making progress because they had removed some Japanese enemies, highlighting the contrast between the different leadership styles and their immediate results in the heat of battle. Next, we discover that Captain John and some soldiers he had with him were going to see if they could remove their enemies when he told them to stay behind and go alone. He was able to see where the Japanese were hiding, so he went back and told his soldiers. We also see Peftern Witt and Sergeant Welsh is on another side of the forest, discussing the war. Sergeant Welsh told him that he couldn't make any difference in the war and there was no place to go after the war. They all rest for the night in the bushes and set off the following day to continue from where they left off. Captain John took his men to the bunker, where he saw the Japanese soldiers. He and his men called the airstrike, who was able to clear the way for them. Although a soldier among them got killed, they were still able to take out all the Japanese soldiers to the last, and they captured the remaining ones. In the next scene we see Colonel Tall has received the news and come to see for himself. He was so happy with Captain John for what he had accomplished. However, he was not pleased that Captain John wanted to get water for his men, but Colonel Tall assured him that he would grant him whatever he asked when they finished. Captain John made Colonel Tall send for water. 
Sometime later, we see the soldiers reloading their weapons as they prepare for their next mission. At dawn, they all went to their next target and took out the Japanese camp, even though it was much harder this time, and they lost more men. The Japanese soldiers they captured were also more than the ones they captured at the first bunker. Victory seems to be on their side as they rest and bathe themselves by a river. After their victory, Colonel Tall relieved Captain John of his command and assigned it to Lieutenant Band, saying he was not bold enough to carry on his duty as a captain. Sergeant Welsh announced and told them of their week's rest, which made the soldiers happy. In the next scene we see the soldiers burning down the campsite of the Japanese. They all moved to their campsite the following day and got fresh fruits and drinks. Captain John's men also thanked him for what he did for them. A few days passed, and the soldiers were not worried about getting attacked or going on a mission. They were having a good time and talking about life. They also caught a crocodile, which they probably killed and ate. Later that day, Jack got a letter from his wife telling him she wanted a divorce so she would marry an Air Force personnel she met. Jack was not happy about this but could not do anything about it. His wife could not just wait anymore, which is just bullshit because he was not dead. Sat Petwit returned to the village where he was before the war to meet the villagers, but they were running away from him. He tried talking with a child he saw, but it was useless. Pitt and Wit was unhappy about this, but things had changed since he left. He remembered how he had played with them before the war and what would have made them change drastically towards him. On his way back, he met an injured fellow soldier. He offered to help him, but the soldier declined. He went to Welsh and talked with him due to his behavior, which was not always welcoming. In the ensuing segment, we see the soldiers on another mission. You can tell that their one week rest is over. Not long after they had walked into the bushes, they saw the Japanese coming towards them and hid for some time before they decided to alert the other soldiers, which one of them did as Wit held them back. He took them far away into the bush before they surrounded him in an open field with little bushes. He was shot to death when he attempted to kill one of them. Welsh came with other soldiers and conducted a mini funeral for him before they left. Another captain addressed the soldiers before they went back to another ship. In the end our brave soldiers face their fears and fight hard, but not everyone makes it home. The island remains beautiful yet scarred by the battles fought there. One key moment is when a soldier finds peace amid chaos, showing that hope can be found even in war. Another unforgettable scene is the rescue mission that turns into a heart-pounding race against time. The movie beautifully blends the horror of war with the beauty of nature, leaving us with a deep appreciation for both life and the sacrifices made. It's a haunting yet inspiring journey. The end. Thanks for watching.